Welcome back to Idaho Today. Sunday is National Beer Day. It's a perfect time to crack open a cold one and enjoy the amazing weather that we've been having earlier this week. But hey, you know what? You can still toast to spring because we will continue to have some really nice weather before you know it. Joining us right now, we have Megan Hammaker. She's from Voodoo Brewing right here in town, and she's going to give us some fun beer pairings so we can all celebrate today the right way. So today, or Sunday, actually being National Beer Day coming up this weekend, um, you brought a couple of samples here from your brewery, but share with us the different type of profiles we have, because I'm guessing, I'm just guessing, but correct me if I'm wrong, Megan, is this probably the lighter beer, and then we go to the darker here? No, this is actually <gasps> our West Coast ones. IPA. It's okay. A flagship beer. Okay. That started Voodoo, um, and then we have our sour, and it's green. Oh, is it really? Yes. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to see that. And then this is actually our Golden American Lager. So this Got is it. your lighter, easier drinking. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, let's crack some open and start pouring. Um, I'll do this one if you want to do the green one. And do you have any instructions for pouring? Um, with the lager and the West Coast, I would pour with the glass tilted. Glass tilted, okay. And is there a reason for that? Less foam. Less foam, okay. So we want to have less foam when pouring. Oh, see, look at that pretty golden color. You're not kidding, check <laughs> that out. That is green, my goodness. And then what makes it green? How do you get that, that color? That is a trade secret. <gasps> no one knows. Okay, you won't no. share. <laughs> okay, but this is called a sour. Is this uh, kind of a unique flavor profile then? Yeah, it's not your normal sour profile. It okay. is more um, on the sweet side. It doesn't have as much bite as a normal sour. All right, do you mind if I smell that? Okay. Oh, wow. No way, that's really sweet. This honestly reminds me, can I say this, of candy. Yeah, it, it kind of tastes like a green Jolly Rancher. I could, yeah, and, and you can see why. Because <laughs> it, it is completely green. And it really does have some hints of like apple to it as well when you smell that. Okay, so this is a very unique beer. What type of, um, what would you pair that with? That honestly could go with anything. Okay. This would be great on a hot afternoon. Yes. Yes. Um, just hanging out with your friends in your backyard. A St. Patrick's Day, it which was, passed yes. us, but now you can plan for next year. <laughs> you don't actually need to put the dye into your beverage with that one, it's already green. All right, and what about the one that I poured over here? What, what are we looking at? You said this is an IPA? Yes, that's our okay. West Coast IPA. It is going to be hot filled goodness. It would be great after you got done lawn mowing. Yes. To relax and totally, sit. Totally agree. And an IPA, very floral, right? Very yes. hoppy. Yes, this version is very hoppy, yes. Okay, all right, so if you like the hops, and that's a profile that you go for. This is this is a yeah West this Coast is, IPA. Wow. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And help our viewers who may not be as familiar understand the difference between an IPA and like a light lager that we have over here. Um, your light lagers are going to be maltier. Okay. Um, your IPAs are going to be hoppy. Okay. So. And and that's that floral smell that you um, that you get off of the uh, off the beer when you when you do smell it. Um, I mean, because hops are a flower, yes. right? Sometimes I almost call it the potpourri of beers, yes. depending <laughs> on the degree of yes. how much hops you have in there. Do you mind pouring that one? I want to see what that looks like over here. All right. And you said that this is uh, a light lager? Yeah, this okay. is our Golden American. Okay. It is a little bit darker than a light. Okay. Got it. Golden American. All right. And what would you pair with that? That would go great with a steak. Okay. That would go great with your grilling foods. So this is your a light, good refreshing. summer beer when you're getting ready to crack open the grill. Yes. You're going to be having guests over. Um, and then what would you pair the, the IPA with? The IPA would go great with um, lamb, fish. Ooh. Okay. So yeah. I was gonna say a nice fish, right? Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Maybe you're just coming off the lake this summer. Yeah. And and you're going to uh, maybe frill up, uh, grill up some Idaho trout. Pair it with this, right? Yeah, be perfect. Love it. Um, and I think we're super blessed here because there are so many breweries opening up in the valley. We yeah. have a really robust microbrewery scene. Um, how, how proud are you, are you to be a part of that? Um, I'm very proud and I enjoy all the time I get meeting other brewery owners yeah. here, which has been a lot of fun. Yeah. And they're such great people and they're making great beers. 
Yes, so. we are, right? Because yes. I know when you think of microbrew, typically the Northwest comes to mind, right? Seattle, Portland in particular. Uh, but I mean, man, we definitely have a dog in the fight. Oh yeah, we have a ton of good stuff here and it's so great to be able to get out and go visit all of them. Yes, I totally agree. Thank you, Megan. I'm gonna cheers you. Why don't you pick, pick, pick one of your choice. Very impressed with uh, the green brew, by the way. And hey, happy National Beer Day this Sunday to you. More Ido Today coming up right after the break. Yep, that's...